so the first step is to select the range and add the chart okay so this was the step one okay so this this happened okay so as you can see this is now turning turned into green and uh, this means that it's a comment now what did we do here we had deleted the legend okay okay so that was written as series one so I'll write this as you have deleted the legend using this code okay what else did we do okay so look here as in uh, in these set of codes what did we do we had actually deleted the grid lines so third deleted the grid lines oh so as you can see this is not a command this is a, a, a comment so I must have a apostrophe sign before this three so that's why it was giving me an error so now it has turned into green color which means no problems now the fourth one is to add the title so let me write here add chart title so that's what this code was all about now as we move from this code here till the very end it seems to me that this is unnecessary this may have been created while we clicked on the chart itself okay so if you click on the chart all the properties associated with uh, the chart gets displayed and this is what it is so I'll delete this so I've deleted that okay I'm deleting this now what else access title so let's fifth one was add the primary access title this is what uh, again I, I forgot to kind of add the comment box what else this seems to be unnecessary so uh, need to be totally removed so I guess this is all about it so if you now look at the code you know it really looks simplified now I just want to actually take uh, your time and uh, kind of explain you one important aspect which is related to this active sheet dot chart object chart six dot activate now uh, please note here that the chart that we have created in in sequencing you know I, I tried this multiple times so chart one was created then when you create a second chart it will be called as chart two then uh, you know chart three chart four chart five so if you create the next chart you know that will be called as chart seven so uh, your code has chart six but when you create a new chart that will be chart seven so just to show you an example here uh, let me uh, kind of uh, try to do that by recording another macro uh, chart number we just want to actually track what is the chart number right so uh, this is what it is let me insert let me go here and uh, insert another chart and uh, let me delete this and uh, let me stop and see if the chart numbering is available as of now or not okay so I want to go into the code and see what is the chart number so let's look at this you know this is chart number and if you note in this uh, commands you'll find that this is now referred to as chart number seven because in terms of sequencing this was chart number six and the next chart will be called as chart number seven and now think in this context that if we will delete these charts and create a new one that will be called as chart number eight and uh, our code mentions that this is chart number six so uh, probably we will go incorrect in this fashion so let me uh, demonstrate this to you I'll delete here I'll also delete this chart and I'll try to run the macro here which is the chart sample which the one which we just created and I'm sure that there will be some kind of error here So let's run it and uh, as you can see there is some kind of error and let's try to debug what does it say 
it says that there is an error here in chart number six so let me just redo it uh, in order to understand what was the error the item that which was specified wasn't found it wasn't found because I had already deleted chart number six and now this would be chart number eight nine whatever so what is the solution to this problem is that to be uh, to be very fair this whole line is actually not required you can go ahead and delete this line because you are anyways in the active chart active chart means the chart which you have just created you're anyways in that chart so what this line was doing was nothing but activating that chart you don't want to activate that chart because you're anyways in that chart itself so I'll delete this and now I'll hope that this whole chart thing runs smoothly so let's run this macro chart sample run and you'll note that this is automatically done so that's why uh, you have to kind of just tweak uh, your code a little bit in order to make it uh, more functional in nature.